A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Start the new rescue helicopter. Hey! Build the helicopter. And off to the rescue. Prepare the lifeline. Lower the stretcher. And make the rescue. The new emergency collection from Lego City. Movie Read Echoes. I've said it before how much I love these and how I want them to come back. Now imagine if these came back and we got this deco in the grindor mold because it has the better hands. That would be something I would 100% buy. Evac here. Yeah, yes, Evac. Not the ride Evac, who's a completely different character. Helicopter Evac. This guy was more prominent in the comics and his toy bio, and he had like a beef with Dirge or something. Like there was this whole story thing around it. It's really cool. I'm gonna start in helicopter mode because I want to, and I really like the rescue deco on this guy. I'm a fan of loud, bright colors, and this stands out super well. The white and the orange placement make a lot of sense in how it's distributed along the body. And having seen like actual rescue helicopters in person before, this I mean, this particular helicopter doesn't really match up that much, but the color scheme does. I will say, speaking of the colors, the front. The orange on the front doesn't match the rest of the chopper, and it is noticeable because it's painted over black plastic, which bleeds through. It could have used another couple coats to keep that orange vibrant, but it's not the worst thing in the world, but it does throw me off a little bit. I do like the darker gray they use for the propellers and the cannons and stuff. I'm glad they picked it over the black of the original as I feel certain things would have gotten lost on this guy if they were just all black. I like the color breakup, it's, it's pretty pleasing. It's a really long Voyager alt mode and I love the size. It's not to scale at all with anything, but it looks nice next to probably Scout class toys at the time. The propeller does spin when you press the plunger on the back and that's something I wish the Studio Series 1 had in some capacity. That would have been really cool. And this cage that refuses to stay shut, like it just opens if I look at it funny. But this holds a rescue dinghy in place of Scorponok, which is actually neat. It kind of plays both into his vehicle purpose and his name. His name really does fit this sort of vehicle, like rescue vehicle motif a lot more than the weird buff sports car thing in my mind. So I quite like this being my prominent evac for the movies. Transformation is very movie one. That is, it doesn't really know how to do the movie conversions yet, but it's trying its best and it has automorph. Apparently, according to the wiki, the automorph would come undone on this mold in the torso sometimes and getting all the that like gear stuff back together was a pain. Mine hasn't had that problem, but I'm careful with it now. So just be wary of that. Robot mode is a beast of a Voyager. This thing is quite beefy and chunky and looks like a dude you would not want to mess with. The Allspark Blue, still don't know why they decided to do this, but on this deco, it doesn't look that bad. There's a couple of things I don't like about the build of this guy. First, the backpack doesn't really tab in well. Like it tabs into the back, but it swings out a lot on that hinge that the toy uses for transformation. And it's like a third leg, but he also kind of falls over because it slides out. And the other issue is the waist doesn't tab in. So if you have really loose automorph hinges, then he'll just fall backwards too. And if I shake it a little bit, it will just topple over. I do really like the caution decals on the shoulders and the light piping really makes this dude pop so well. The missiles on the shoulders kind of defeat the whole rescue motif a bit, but I guess he's in a war, so that kind of works. What doesn't work is the gun, which is just the dinghy flipped upside down that also loves to split in half constantly. But the gun does look dumb. I'm not a fan of it. It sticks out of his hand way too much. It looks really weird. He looks okay in certain poses, but not the best. But per his character, him just kind of standing there suits him. He's just a rescue guy. He's not going to come in and do acrobatics and high kick you in the face and then spin around, he's evac. The actual posing is pretty all right. He has all the joints you'd want, but because of the backpack, it's not very usable. The legs can hold him up, it's just the waist. He leans back quite a lot and gets really annoying when you go to pose him around. That and the backpack just, it's long and there's no way to shrink it because of the gimmick. And so that, that makes him always lean forward when you're doing a pose, otherwise the backpack just touches the ground. He can hold his propeller like a massive grinding wheel and I love the way that this looks. I think this looks awesome. He also has mini con pegs, 10 out of 10. I like it. It's not perfect. And if you want a good blackout toy, just get the Studio Series one. But this is fun to mess with and this deco is really what sold me on it. I bought this, this was an impulse buy at TFCon last year. I had no desire to pick this up. And then I saw it in person, I'm like, okay, I have to buy it. And I'm kind of glad I did. It's it's a really fun figure. The mold isn't the hardest to come by, which is nice. So if you want one, there are plenty of them out there for reasonable prices. I paid like $45, I think for this. So it's not that hard to find any version of this mold other than that DVD exclusive one, which you know I'm gonna have trouble finding, but 40 is the max I'd pay for this thing in box used, but 50 sealed. I wouldn't pay any more than that. 
um, at that point, you might as well just buy the Studio Series one because I think Grindor retails in Canada for about 75. So yeah, this Voyager is not worth more than 50 sealed. But that's my look at Transformers 2007 movie Voyager class evac. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.